Park Industries web video, Editing a Style in AlphaCam. The objectives of this course are to learn how to add an operation to an existing style, how to change a tool within a style. In this video example, we're going to be adding a gauge wheel to an existing OG Bull style. We'll also edit the depth of the cut. We're also going to change to a different Z wheel within the style. The first thing we'll do is we'll add gauging to our existing OG Bowl style. As you can see, there is no gauging wheel within the OG Bowl. There is, however, a gauging operation within a style that was made called gauging. We're going to take this gauging operation and we're going to copy and paste it into the OG Bowl style. To do so, we'll highlight, then right click on the operation that we want to copy. We'll choose copy operation. Then we'll go to the style that we want to paste it in by right clicking and choosing paste operation. That puts the same operation that we copied from the gauging into the end of our OG Bull style. Because we want the gauging to happen earlier on within our style, we'll highlight it. Then we'll use the red arrow at the top of the screen to move it up into the place that we desire. Next, I'm going to edit the contents of the gauging operation that we just copied. I'm going to do so by right clicking on it and choose to edit the operation. With this operation, what I want to edit is the final depth of the gauge wheel. I've decided that I would like my material to be gauged down to one inch. So I'll change the final depth to one inch, then I'll click OK through the rest of the screens, and I'll get a message that the OG Bowl has been saved. I'll click OK to this, and that change will be saved until I overwrite it. I would also like to change to a different Z wheel. This requires us to edit an operation. First of all, I've already made a new Z wheel within my tool library. So I have the original and now I have a new one. To change to that new Z wheel within my style, I'm going to highlight the operation that contains that tool. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose to edit the operation. On the first page that I can see the current tool being used and I also have a choice to change the tool. When I select change tool it brings up my select tool window and from there I'll go find the new tool that I wish to change to. I will double click on it and then I have that tool attached to the end of my cursor. I'll make it active by clicking somewhere within the drawing space and then I will OK through all the rest of the screens. The changes have been saved and I'll see within my style and that operation there now is a new name. This change is also saved until I choose to overwrite it. Thank you for watching.